I'm going to pull out a hard drive replacement on a Lenovo T450. So I'll first take out the battery. Put both of those tabs to the side. Pull it out. It's just one of the batteries. There's another one inside. So we'll take out all of these screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just wonder there was an eighth one. I'm going to start at the bottom here, try and pry the, uh, the, the base cover off. Start at the back. So yeah, I'm going right under the USB one there. That's kind of the easiest spot to get it up. It should be alright from here. So you can actually see some of the back tabs right on here. So you can make sure you're getting them off. Obviously, you gotta take out the eighth screw. Yeah, there was eight. It's pretty loose, I should be able to get it off here. Unless I didn't get all this screws out. Perfect. So this is the one battery there. This is it just to disconnect the battery. I'm just going to go ahead and take the hard drive out anyways. So I got one screw right at the top of the hard drive. So it's nice on the, the thing, the... Uh, the screws don't actually come all the way out, so on the back cover there, so you don't got to bother about trying to find them. Okay, so you can see the speakers are on the bottom. It actually sounds pretty loud, I guess because it bounces off the ground. kind of a strange retaining clip thing here. It's a big plastic covering around the whole thing. I see. So it just kind of, it's got little tabs that pop into the hard drive holes here. This little plastic holder. This pops right out. And there, that's the hard drive. It's got this little foil stuff on it. I probably won't be able to save that, but anyway. Put my SSD in, and then, uh... That's really it. And just to show you as well, I am kind of able to save the foil in case you need it. You want to put it back on. Just being very gentle, and it's just taped just around the bottom end, and then it, it'll come right off, so. Yeah. Okay, so I put the foil on this drive. Not that it's probably necessary since it's an SSD, whatever. So just put the little tabs into the hard drive holes on one another one there another, another one there that's good slide it in and 
and snap the cover back down. Just gonna make sure there's no remnants of any of uh, my plastic pry tools in there. Otherwise it might not snap down that well. I'm just putting my fingers in where the between the display here made it a lot easier to snap in. Screw everything down. And just take note, seven millimeter. Seven millimeter drive. So make sure you put a seven millimeter one in.